Hi students, this will show you what you should have in your notebooks so far this quarter. You notice the table of contents, you've got the intro to claim evidence reasoning, practicing objective versus subjective statements, the mink dissection safety day overview, the reflection homework, um, the day three argumentation round observations, that should be the yellow worksheet, your research guide that you did for your respiratory system model, the respiratory system model and explanation process rubric where you should have graded yourself, the respiratory system lyrics from Mr. Parr's song, and the same thing for the circulatory system song. That should all be on the front. You should be going on power school as well, and all of your scores for each of those things you are going to write here. On the inside flap, you should have your data and you should have filled out the week seven and all the things that are missing in your overview. And you should have your overall score right there. And then on the back, you should have also figured out your action steps as well as your habits and reflection. So the action steps are the things that you are going to do or need to talk to me about or turn in. And then the habits and reflections are maybe the good things you've been doing that help you be successful. And then maybe some of the things that you need to do or need to turn into a habit. So then the first thing in here should be the claim to the claim evidence reasoning worksheet that we did. See, I've got that as several pages because I did them all with you. Then you have the practice objective versus subjective. Notice again my page numbers. Everything should be in order. The dissection safety day worksheet should be the third thing that's in there. Fourth was the homework. We did not do every single section, but you should have days or sections one, two, three, and four done. Uh, I don't have a copy, but the day that we did the argumentation rounds, you should have that worksheet about your observations as five. And then six is your research guide. Remember this first page was extra credit. This top page was mandatory so that you could figure out how to make a working diaphragm. This bottom part, figuring out how to put the ribs and intercostal muscles in was extra credit. This page was mandatory, as well as the additional features and limitations should be on there as well. And then this page, your rough draft, was mandatory as well. After that, you should have the respiratory system model and explanation process rubric. You should have circled where you believe you are in each of these categories. And you should have, over the course of two days, you should have filled out all this information on the back, most of its reflection. After that, you've got the respiratory system song lyrics. You should have summarized them in your own words. And here I should see things that you have highlighted that you were unsure about and things that you had underlined that you were pretty secure about. You felt green rather than red or yellow on. And then the last thing which we did today was you had your circulatory system song by Mr. Parr, the parody of Call Me Maybe. And we spent today um, looking at what each of those stanzas meant. So you can get a quick view of some of my notes there. And then you had the last three or four boxes as homework to do on your own. The very last page, you can see I've got different versions of these for each class, but the very next, last page you should have um, that resource page which goes over some of those habits. So if you're not sure what you could be doing better as a student, remember you do have that two-sided page um, that goes over lots of different strategies and things that you can be doing, and you should have numbered those as well. So that's what I will be looking at.